Dumb. Show queer. Uh, pointless. <laughs> um, gay. You're basically a queer for being in show choir and that. Show choir at PHS has been around since 1997. It's had its ups and downs, its successes and losses, but currently we're stuck in a rut, a rut that we can't escape. The image of show choir at Parkview has completely crumbled due to misconceptions. It definitely has its downfalls too, and I, like a lot of people just criticize it for what it is because it's dancing and singing and that's not seen as something masculine. Right. I think a boy, there's a big negative connotation attached. I don't know, it's not received by people in the way that Ty and I see it. Um, I think it's terrible. I think it's a waste of time and resources. Uh, probably the best example of flack that we've received uh, for being in show choir comes uh, from the Twitter sphere. Uh, Ty and I, I don't even know how it started, but we got into a little scuffle, a little quarrel with uh, some of the more athletic guys. They basically were just making ignorant parts, like stuff they didn't know about. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, they were, they were largely stereotyping us too. Essentially, uh, we were called out for doing what we're passionate about. Also, Claire's perceived. I think it's different between males and females. Well, a lot of guys are discriminated for the new show choir. It's, it's not as manly as playing the sport. Yeah. Uh, you know, quite honestly, hate to say it, but probably some of the athletes are probably the ones that, you know, there are boys that maybe do show choir pizzazz that are also athletes, and I think they probably walk a, a tight line where, you know, what they hear from their buddies in the locker room or what guys, you know, I'm sure they harass them about being a part of show choir because that was fun. It is. Yeah, I have to admit, fun. It's a couple older boys, I think a couple years ago, I heard um, one of the instructors for show choir kind of going off on a couple of the older boys who were harassing uh, a younger boy about being in it instead of being in, in one of the sports. But, um, you know, it was interesting when uh, there was that performance at school last year and nobody really really clapped and kind of you know, like there was disapproval. I don't know, I thought it was really, it made me feel uncomfortable. Like I instantly started sweating, like I started turning red and I'm in the audience, I'm not even on stage. So I can't imagine how that felt, you know, to be up there in front of everyone. It was, yeah, it was bizarrely awkward performance type setting where you would think that they would start clapping. They have something against show choir because I don't know, I don't know why, but I hear about it a lot. Yeah, I call it show choir all the time. Maybe cast out a little more from others. Yeah, I guess, I, and that's a form of bullying. It's kind of like a verbal harassment type thing. I'm sure they get called me. Show choir just in general is anything that involves the arts is generally speaking going to be looked down upon by most kids in a high school setting. Nobody gets bullied no. to be in guys and dolls, especially the guys. Um, right now we have, in the high school, I have two choirs and there's 115 students involved in choir. Um, guys and dolls, there's 55 singers and dancers and then we have BHS Express, which is an all girls, or our JV show choir and there's 27 girls in that. And then I also teach at the middle school and I have 114 in the middle school and there are 48 in the show choir there. Yeah, there's the people who are in show choir I think it's pretty cool and they kind of support us. So. I think there isn't just a certain kind of person that is in show choir. You're yeah. cool if you're in it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially guys too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can dance. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. So if guys really want to be in, they can go get some ladies if you're in. I'm really proud to be in it. Yeah, I call show choir all the time. I've never, yeah. I've never even heard I've that. I've never ever. heard Every time we have practice out on the stage, you see the sports people, whether it's girls basketball or football players, watching and some of them trying to do the moves or some of them wanting to join in. So what's the difference between Parkview and these other schools? We put in 
they just kind of think that pizzazz is a joke and they don't take us seriously. Like that reputation of people looking down on pizzazz really like makes newer, like younger people not want to be in it. Part two pizzazz might be slipping now, but at one point it was prosperous. Grand champions at Fort Atkinson in 1997, fresh out of the gates, and placed in the top six and traveled on to finals five out of the next six years. Sadly, over time, the thought of show choir at Parkview has changed. But how is this possible? They struggle with getting turnout. And if you struggle with getting turnout in high school, you're thought of as not cool. And if you're thought of as not cool, nobody's going to come in. It just ends up being this large cycle. It doesn't have to be. I've seen it both ways. I've seen it where we've had our top wrestlers, one of my wrestlers went to state three years, uh, consecutive three years in a row, and he was a show choir. Uh, um, Milton's show choir, I know kids that are in it, and a lot of the popular kids are in it. Like, it's something they try out for it. Everybody wants to do it. Here, it's a very, it's a minority group. There's not many people. Different boys are in show choir, and then there's those different boys that are jocks that are in sports but it doesn't have to be. The show choir in this area sort of started around this Milton and Parkview. Those are the only two in their whole Rock Valley at the beginning. Um, but who would want to be around a bunch of good looking young girls when you're a teenage boy? I mean, I don't understand uh, why you have such a lack of young men. We have talent here. It's actually considered a sport in a lot of other schools. I no, it's when, not a sport. I hate when people say it's a sport. Yeah. I, hate, I hate when people complain about how hard show choir practice is. There's nothing athletic involved. And it's just a bunch of dancing and stuff. Oh. No. <laughs> no. I definitely think it's a sport. It's, I mean, you look at the definition of so. The definition of sport is an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. Or it is. So I definitely define show choir as a sport. It seems as if Parkview doesn't even have the right idea of what show choir is. It's not a huge. There's no huge fan base or support behind it. You wouldn't. There's no school that's like, we have the best show choir. Hey, hey, let's go. There's more people that don't like it than like it. Yes. Um, it is really big in some towns. Like, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah. yeah. No, I think, I mean, show choir is a really big thing. You go to any competition, you're looking at anywhere from 18 to 20 schools competing against each other. Students at Parkview seem reluctant to even take a glimpse into what the show choir world can offer. Hey, Most people don't even realize like how close of a connection you get with all the other people in there. Yeah, um, it's that's one of the coolest things is you go into show choir as a freshman and you're oftentimes very timid, unsure of what you're doing. And by the time you're leaving there as a senior, uh, you built such great confidence, uh, such good brotherhood with the people around you, and it's just a really great thing that you can take away. I love um, show choir because it's an outlet for me to. Um, express myself and I think a way that not everybody does. And it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and that's the approach that I take with my students because once you leave high school there's still volleyball and basketball and football that you can participate in. Put yourself into a challenge 
because you know, you do it on a small scale with a show choir where it's just dancing and singing, but I think that it's going to carry through your whole life to just be able to just jump into that channel. Largely, it's really a chance to get together with your friends, uh, appreciate good music, uh, work out, and build community between those in your school. That's the best the competition when you're on the stage performing with everybody. You it's like, look over it's like a friend to it. It's the best feeling. <laughs> yeah. Because it's fun. Like, it's a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It's totally worth it. It's, it's, all, it's so fun. I love it. It's a lot of work, and there is definitely a good amount of stress that comes with it, but it's so worth it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. 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 Uh, that was one of the coolest experiences that I've had in high school. The, the morale was so high after that happened. It was close to the thing. So. Hey, Olivia, what did we just do? <laughs> we made it to finals! <laughs> Thing that you have it, don't take it for granted.